Hello and welcome to Rick's Magnetic Motor Generator Project. Now my pipe drain project, it radically departs from uh, Milo's build in that I'm using uh, totally different materials and uh, a different uh, overall structure. But not only that, I'll be controlling the magnetic forces in an entirely different manner also. I'll be using the stator magnet uh, just as I've demonstrated. However, I'll be using the stator magnet as a moving stator. Now, I realize that's a contradictory term and um, normally a stator magnet is thought of as being stationary, stator, stationary. However, the controlling magnet can also be moving. And by moving that magnet, we can adjust the interactions so that uh, instead of getting a breaking effect, as the next group uh, comes along towards the stator, uh, we will avoid that. And I'll show you now one way that this can be done. What I will be doing now is to hold the stator magnet in the position that starts the group rotating. And as the group rotates, and the stator passes the first group, the second group will approach. Now this is where we had the braking effect before. At this point, I will raise the stator magnet up slightly, and this will allow the braking effect to be avoided. As soon as the group is engaged with the stator, I can drop the stator back down again and uh, the propulsion effect will continue. Now let's go back to the starting point and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, now let's go back to the starting position again. Now this time I'm going to um, pan out. I know that uh, being close in like this, there are probably some people that are going to say, well, uh, you're only showing them just a small portion of the wheel. How do we know that uh, you're not turning the wheel with your other hand or that some assistant isn't turning it or whatever? Well. I'm going to pan out now to show the entire wheel and I'm going to hold the magnet with both hands and I'm going to show you how I can get the wheel into a continuous rotation mode by this uh, moving stator concept. Now you can see the complete wheel and uh, what I'm going to do is turn the starting point around to the side, this area in the side, and uh, this is where I'm going to work the magnet. I'm going to hold the magnet with both hands. Uh, I want you to know it's very difficult, extremely difficult to hold the magnet properly in just one hand. Uh, there's quite a strong attraction and also strong repulsion actions that are involved between the magnet interactions. So I'm going to work over here on the side and this will give you a better view of the up and down movement of the magnet as I hold it in my hands. And it will show a little better how much I'm actually moving the magnet. You'll get a, a better view of it this way. And you will see that uh, the only thing turning the wheel is the magnetic interactions. There's, there's absolutely nothing else here. And uh, before I'm done, I'll, I'll take the uh, camera and go all around this 
uh, apparatus and show you that there is absolutely nothing else here other than what I've already told you. So I'll go around to the side now. Move this wheel into position for myself to begin starting. And here's my magnet coming into position. All right. See that? We've got a continuous rotation already. Granted, it's a little bit slow, but uh, it is speeding up with each pulse. And the, the faster that the rotation gets going, the less I actually have to move the magnet. I'm afraid to get uh, too close right here because uh, there's a point of no return where the uh, stator magnet will slam down on the wheel or else the, uh, some of the rotor magnets may come flying off the wheel and strike the stator magnet. If that happens, the uh, stator magnet usually breaks the rotor magnets. They'll fly up with such a force as to break them. But anyways, you can see that uh, we do get a, a complete rotation and uh, it just continues as long as you keep pulsating the stator magnet, the moving stator magnet. So from here on out I'll be calling the moving stator magnet a MOSTAT moving stator, MOSTAT. Okay? And uh, I'm going to be showing in future videos how this uh, stator motion, the moving stator, the MOSTAT, can actually be accomplished in several different ways. Uh, one additional way that I hadn't mentioned before, the stator magnet can be placed in front of the magnets and we can pulse them that way. See how that works? It's the same action. I'm just doing it from from the side at the front of the machine. So there's several different ways to do this and um, I'll be moving on to some more advantageous ways. And uh, I'll also show you my stator arm, uh, which is a device that I've built that attaches to the frame. So thanks for watching uh, Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator. and. Uh, I'll be back again with more.